Today I'm going to show you how to install the Tusk Polycarb rear window on your Kawasaki KRX 41000. Now this is going to help keep the dust, rain, and other elements out of your cab. And the one we're installing today is scratch resistant, so you've got that option. And this is going to be the same process whether you have a Kawasaki OEM roof or this Tusk one. And it's pretty simple to do, so let's go ahead and get started. To prep the polycarb rear window, again we have the soft blanket laid out so we don't scratch it and I've got my rubber gloves on to keep my fingerprints off. Then we need to remove the protective film from all of the pieces. Next we can work on the side panels with both ends facing up. This is going to be the inside. So again we're placing that foam strip on the outside of that bend on each side panel. So with the foam tape on, what you need to do is punch a hole through each mounting locations. I'm just gonna use a pick for now. Once we have this on the machine, we're actually gonna push a bolt through that. Now you'll notice you have four pieces of bulb seal that came with your rear window. This one that is completely straight is gonna go across the bottom. And what I mean by that is the bulb seal is directly across from the section where it attaches to the window. The rest of these are gonna be 90 degrees. So as you install these, the two shorter pieces, they're gonna go on the side panels and the seal itself is gonna face inside towards the cab. And then same thing with this longer piece. And it's gonna go across the top of the rear window. So how we have this sitting, the bottom side is gonna to go towards our cab. So we need our bulb seal on that side. And some of this bulb seal fits pretty tight. So something that can help you out is a soft face mallet. This one's going to the inside. I'll make sure I'm squared up. And you can see we have a little bit of extra here, so we're just gonna trim that off. Now with the side panels, you'll notice that the bulb seal is gonna be on the opposite side of that foam tape. Now we're gonna take the main panel for the rear window. We're gonna drop this in from the top and you want this bulb seal in front of the duct covers. And I've got the back of this roof loose so I can push the rear window into place. Then from here, you wanna center the window side to side and then we're gonna install the one and a half inch clamps right next to both of these mounting locations in the top of the window. And with that being said, like we mentioned earlier when we were putting the tape on, you can cut a little bit of that tape out for those clamps. Now we're gonna install the two one and a half inch loop clamps next to those holes. And the flat side of the clamp is gonna sit against the window. Then we're gonna take our M6 by 25 millimeter button head bolt, install a washer onto that. Then we're going through the rear window, through the P-clamp, and then we've got the flange nut on the other side. And just like everything else, we're gonna leave the hardware loose on everything until it's all assembled. And then we'll go back through and tighten everything down. The next step is to install our side panels. So I'm gonna set this in place and the foam gasket, that's gonna go between our side panel and the main panel. And then I'm gonna start by taking one of the supplied bolts. We've got a washer on there. We're going through the main panel and then through the side panel. Then we've got a washer on the inside. We're gonna follow that up with the flange nut. And we'll do that in the other two spots as well. And I found that it's easiest to use a wrench to get that middle nut installed. Now we're gonna take the one and three quarter inch loop clamps. We're going around the roll cage. And again, the flat section of those clamps are gonna sit against that side panel. And then I'm gonna start by taking one of the supplied bolts. We've got a washer on there through the side panel. Then we've got a washer on the inside and we're gonna follow that up with the flange nut. And with those loosely installed, we'll go ahead and do those same steps on the other side.
Now that we have everything loosely installed, we'll go ahead and adjust everything for optimal fitment and tighten all the hardware down. That's all there is to installing this Tusk Polycarb rear window on your KRX4 1000. If you need one of these, they're available on our website. Just click the link in the description below. We offer free shipping on orders over $75. And if you wanna see more helpful content like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.